Hey everyone, back again with another Alumavan build. I'm Chris, Sarah's filming. This one's on a brand new 2023 Pro Master. You can see the brand new front end that they have redesigned. I think it's quite a bit better. Also have the uh, new interior that they debuted in 2022. Let's check it out. First of all, like always, the big, wide, sturdy step we use fit your full foot on there, unlike most running boards that you'll see uh, come on these ProMaster builds. The first thing you'll notice about our builds is we use extruded aluminum for all structure. Um, very strong, lightweight, no downsides like there is with wood so it can't swell or rot over time. Um, the strength is unmatched and that's why we love it. This is bolted to the framing of the van so everything is kind of one. Um, and you'll see you can move the whole van with it, shake the whole van with it. Hope that came through on video. Try that when you're looking at other vans. They probably won't let you do it because things will probably start falling apart pretty quickly. So, we have our bench here as soon as you walk in. And this bench is a little bigger than our standard bench because it has a Laveo dry flush toilet inside. This toilet is like an adult diaper genie. It's probably the ideal toilet except for uh, the cost per flush is higher than every other option. But essentially, you do your business in it, and when you're done, you press a button, it wraps it up automatically in a Mylar bag and gets the bowl ready for your next use. And then when you're out of that cartridge, you just put it in a trash bag and throw it away anywhere. Super easy. You have a S-Bar gas heater in this. Uh, very powerful unit, sips gas, sips power. Um, just works very well. I think that is the best option currently out there to, to heat your van. And while we're down here, you can see our marine flooring. Uh, one piece uh, marine flooring. We use a lot of things from the marine world uh, because they frankly are just much better products overall they hold up better uh, this flooring it's just fantastic feels nice underfoot it's going to last a long time and it's because it's made for boats it's made to take elements so sun can beat on it uh, water's not going to bother it uh, the click together vinyl flooring that we previously did and a lot of people still do um, those seams will come up over time uh, ask me how I know. Uh, it happened to one of our vans and uh, that was enough to tell me that it's just not a product meant for these vans that see such climate changes as you're traveling. They, they just won't last. They're not built for it like this flooring is. You'll also see our King Starboard. This is another marine product that we use uh, pretty much everywhere where you would typically see a wood panel on other vans and RVs. Uh, this product won't swell, warp, uh, rot over time, and there's no need to ever refinish it. So if you have an RV or a van that has painted wood, or uh, even in your house, you'll notice it tends to get messed up fairly quickly, and you're going to want to repaint it. That's especially true in a small space like a van. Anywhere your feet are hitting all the time, you're going to be repainting sooner than later. This product is far superior to wood. It is a decent amount more expensive than wood, but uh, I find that it's definitely worth it. And we try to do every panel that we can um, to where it's just bolted in. So if you ever did want to change out even for a different color, I mean, it's possible. You can fully remove these and not affect your structure at all. Looking at the galley here, first thing we have is the Vitra Frigo stainless steel fridge. Very nice size fridge. Still have the tape on the drawers there. Probably should have taken that off, but you know, we'll roll with it. Uh, what I like about these is a pretty usable freezer space. That's why we keep using this unit. And they just sit power. They have the Danfoss 12 volt compressor on these. So top of the line compressor fridge and you'll see Corian countertops no butcher block that will inevitably split beautiful Corian uh, aluminum backsplash 
see the upper cabinets here. Uh, this is a client build. On this, they wanted the white acrylic sliding doors. That is an option. Good amount of space up there. And of course, extruded aluminum. Uh, going down to the wood, this is another area. Uh, this is solid wood on our cabinetry. Whenever we do use wood, we like to make sure that it's, it's quality. This is dovetailed solid wood. This is not plywood from uh, the Home Depot, uh, Craig screwed together. This is all solid wood. And we have switched to a spray-on conversion varnish uh, on these now, which gives you a very high-end, smooth finish that's really durable. I, I really like it. Ravati sink. You've probably seen them a number of times. We do give you a King Starboard cutting board because if you ever had a Ravati, they come with this wood top that warps, I think, the first or second day. So we switch it out with this. And uh, Starboard is food safe, so no worries about cutting on it. We have kind of your control center here. So uh, our electronics are all top of the line Victron another company that started in the marine world and now is used a lot more in, in vans and RVs. We have their touchscreen here. Uh, not much going on to see because it is at 100% right now, but you'll get your battery percentage, uh, your DC current use, what you're uh, using in your system. Amount of solar coming in will be right here. If you're plugged into shore power, it'll show right here how much of that's coming in. And then your AC loads and this allows you to turn your inverter on and off uh, quite easily right there. We have the S-Bar controls, the simple water pump off and on, dimmer for the uh, lights, and this here is the under cabinet LED lights, so that'll give you uh, a bunch of different colors, pretty much anything you want under there. So at night it's really nice, or if you uh, just want white light to work uh, this client wanted a 12 volt fan up here so you could kind of have it in either sitting up front or in the bed uh, and it actually puts out a surprising amount of air so something i'll consider just uh, adding going forward or at least as an option really really like that fan uh, under the sink area in a 136 pro master the water heater has to go there so not much storage space under there, a little bit in the front. You got your Bosch two and a half gallon electric water heater, which we put on a timer. So being they're a big draw, you do not want to forget that your water heater is turned on. So you just press 10 minute button on there. And after 10 minutes, it shuts itself off without you having to remember and you have hot water then. We have the standard height pass through door on this one, but this client is gonna be traveling with his pups. So he wanted a front on the door that's similar to the dog crate that they're used to so we got that for them and, and that's always an option if if someone's interested in that and we use a deadbolt on all of our pass-through doors so not only does that make it easy to access stuff from the back but you can be sure with our starboard wall and our door with a deadbolt that anything you put back there is going to stay back there if you had to break really hard or god forbid you're in an accident we have another lagoon mount over on the bench in case you wanted to use your table while you're sitting over here, as well as uh, four USB plugs and a plug, a 110 plug that's on the inverter. And I didn't move the seat up, but uh, you do have another plug on the inverter as well as another set of USB plugs at the end of the galley here. And this is also where your portable uh, induction cooktop would go. I just store it up in the ProMaster shelf, which if you're not used to ProMasters, a lot of storage space up here, very deep. See your Max Air fan too, that ha comes with a magnetic cover that goes on there. Makes it just that little bit uh, more quiet when you're driving and at night, you can obviously block uh, lights for the morning. Uh, we have the standard ceiling on this one so blue beetle pine beautiful ceiling that's finished in tongue oil there is a the houghton quiet ac in this uh, top of the line air conditioning unit 
coming over here, you can get uh, a picture of our walls. We use marine vinyl for our walls, padded marine vinyl. So another marine product that is made to stand up to the elements and uh, it's gonna last a long time and it's a lot more comfortable to lean against in bed than like a, a shiplap wall the whole way that's just painted wood. Um, has that little amount of padding. It's super easy to wipe down just cause it's a smooth, continuous surface. They had uh, chosen white and blue in this carbon fiber pattern, which I, I think looks really nice. The reading lights, we switch to these. It's a simple on and off. It gives you the normal white light that is dimmable and you can switch it quickly to a red light. So at night, if you have to go to the bathroom, you can just easily turn that to wherever uh, you want it to see at night without ruining your night vision. We have a, a normal full-size mattress in these builds on wooden curved slats. So it's a six inch memory foam mattress on curved wooden slats, very comfortable. Probably a lot more comfortable than you would think um, just having the six inch memory foam mattress. Those slats do a great job of support and comfort. You'll see outside our standard windows are in the slider door and on both back doors, all have screens and slider openings and are tinted. Um, only automotive glass and only urethaned in windows, just like you have on the windshield of your car. Uh, no junk trim ring windows like you see in a lot of RVs. Those usually don't last very long. Uh, we, we just won't use them. Uh, let's go around to the back. See our incognito shore power connection there, 15 amp shore power. Uh, and here's your back windows again with screens and openings get a nice flow through the van. Back here, you have your water gauge, water fill, uh, mixer shower valve, which we've switched to. Nice marine stainless unit there. And this is just a quick disconnect port like we uh, have on all of our builds so that your shower hose is just a quick in and out disconnect, easy to use. You can kind of see um, the bed slats from under there, as well as more of the extruded aluminum structure. Again, everything's tied together, very strong. A lot of storage space back here. We try to uh, give as much as we can. You'll notice on this side, uh, again, it's all panels. So your, your water tank, 28 gallons of fresh water, and your water pump is located behind here. So if you ever have to change out your water pump, it's just four screws. You take this panel off and you have full access easily to all that stuff. And then on this other side, it's your all your electricals. So you've got a storage space up here, uh, quite large with tie downs if you need them. Um, your breakers and fuses in there. GFCI protected plug for uh, either just use an outsider if you have an electric bike. Uh, it's an easy place to charge Your lithium batteries. There's 412 amp hours of lithium batteries on this They live under here uh, all secured in the extrude aluminum structure and we only use anchor marine wiring on everything in this van so top of the line uh, tinned stranded wire I think that's all you should be using in your RVs or vans. Uh, I, I see quite a bit of Romex uh, solid wire. It's just not meant for vib constant vibrations. It never was. Or the constant humidity changing climates and moisture that you're going to have uh, in the elements uh, where a van's going to end up. So you want to use marine wire. It's more expensive, but it, it's the best way to go. You'll see back here all your Victron components, your solar controller, your Orion to charge as you drive off of your alternator. You have your multi plus 3000 inverter charger and your link shunt and distributor back there in the rear protected by polycarbonate, which is virtually unbreakable. We also have a USB-C and standard USB up here in the corner. Uh, as well as two USBs on each, well, one USB on each of the reading lights back here. Um, this allows you to put things on the shelf to charge. Um, 
or if you wanted to uh, have a little laptop mount there or something to watch movies, that's an easy place to power it from as well. Um, our insulation, we only use Thinsulate SM600L. Um, made for vehicles, great insulator, great sound deadener, uh, absorbs no water. It's, it's just about the perfect insulation for a van. Well, I think that's about it. If you have any questions or uh, want to reach out to get a build done by us, uh, you can get on the website, send me an email, uh, send me a message on Instagram, and I'll get right back to you. Now, thanks for watching.